Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 to 8. Blessed be the God. Let's all read it. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all his spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Uh, let's jump to verse 5. Having predestinated us unto adoption of children, verse 5, by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Uh, let's jump to, the, to verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he had abounded toward us all wisdom and prudence, 
having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he has purposed in himself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. May the, uh, the good Lord bless this wonderful scripture. You may be seated. Amen. On verse 3, it says that blessed be the God. I want to say bless. I want you to say bless. Who is blessed today? As you can see, the word here, bless, is past tense. Everyone say, I am blessed. Come on, my Bible says, I am blessed. We are blessed. Everyone say, I am blessed. We are blessed be the God, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Amen? Who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings in heavenly places. His spiritual blessings, the material things, came from his spiritual blessings. Can someone say amen? Because God has spoken his word. Let there be light. There was no light. Let there be light. That's the spiritual blessings. And it become light. Amen? So the material blessings, all the financial blessings, and all everything that you need came from the spiritual blessings. So we are blessed. Everyone say, we are blessed. I am blessed. My Bible said, I am blessed. My earring said, I am blessed. <laughs> Don't you ever tell that you ever don't you ever accept someone say to you, you are cursed. You are not cursed. We are blessed. We are all the spiritual blessings. Who are blessed from where? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who where is the blessing came from? From Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us all the spiritual blessings. That's all say, Amen. And everyone say, I receive it. I Come on, church, I receive it. I because when you say, what Dick has spoken, we live by faith, not by sight. Amen? We live by faith, but not by sight. According to he has chosen us, where we're not, oh, we jump in there, but we got, we're going to go to um, uh, verse 5. Having predestinated us unto adoption of children by Jesus Christ. Can someone say, Amen? We, we are adopted because of Jesus Christ's death. Can someone say amen? Adopted to him according to the good pleasure of his will. And verse 7, in whom we have redemption. Everyone say redemption. Through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Everyone say grace. You know what he says in 1 Peter 1 verse 18 19? We are not redeemed by silver and gold or any kind of corruptible materials. But we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Can someone say amen? The blood of the Lamb. So what is it in the blood of the Lamb? We are redeemed by the blood. There is something in the blood of the Lamb. Something on it, right? Because he said that if we are blessed, then there's something in there. If we are blessed fast, then there is something you can get from them. Can someone say amen? There is something hidden that you can get from there. And it's already revealed. He said, you are blessed. Don't be, don't be accepting like you. I know, I know the story of Cain and Abel. That when, when, don't you ever uh, accept whoever judge you by the call of your skin. You're from Cain because you're black. No. You just, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Jesus came, right? That's, uh, uh, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not going to, we have to reject the curse, anybody that says curse upon you, reject it because we are blessed. Can someone say amen? amen. I am, everyone say I am blessed. blessed. Are you excited today, church? <laughs> are you excited today? I was excited myself. I was thinking at this point of the car a while ago. I said, Chad, where is the key? Where's the key? He said, I don't know. Where's the key? I go to the bedroom, I go to the kitchen, I go in the bathroom, I couldn't find the key of the car. But it's just right there. In front of me. Look, <laughs> it's in front of you. Oh, wow. I'm excited. I'm excited today because this is the day that the Lord has made. And that something good is in store for you, amen, and me. Amen? And we look at verse 8. Wherein he had abounded toward us all, all wisdom and prudence. Everyone say, all wisdom. So the wisdom comes from above. Amen? The wisdom of men will, will let you fall. Because the wisdom of men will say, tell, tell you, go sin. The wisdom of men will tell you, do this. Uh, look, do this. It's all about money, money, money. 
But the wisdom from, from above will tell you the right way of living. Can someone say amen? Oh, oh, he has given us all wisdom and prudence, having known to us the mystery of his will, according to his pleasure which he has for purpose in himself. Now church, the, the redemption of Jesus. The redemption of Jesus is eternal. Everyone say, I am redeemed, I redeemed. by the blood of the Lamb. Now let's go to Psalm. Psalm 107. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Psalm. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone say, thank you, Jesus. I have a couple of verses to bear with you. Psalm 107. Thank you, Jesus. If you're there, say amen. On Psalm 107, verse 2, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Everyone say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. For whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Everyone say, hallelujah. We were in the hand of the enemy. When Adam and Eve sinned, we were in the hand of the enemy. So God put laws to the people came from Moses. Because the people are, are so sinning, a lot of things, there are a lot of things that's happening. So we were, we were, we were in the hand of the enemy. We were born sinners. So someone say amen. But that was temporary. The Lord Moses is temporary until the seed come, which is Jesus Christ. So someone say amen. amen. So now, we, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Who we have redeemed? Pass this again. From the hand of the enemy. Amen. Why are we still in the hands of the enemy? You know, I have a bird. I have a bird before. I said, I'm going to buy a lovebird. I told to my husband. So I went to buy a lovebird and I have a cage. And so I put, I put the birds there. They can't go. They go here. Tweet, 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 tweet. They go here. Tweet, tweet, tweet. They can't go. They can't go. Just like us. Before Jesus Christ came, we were in the cage. We are captive by Satan. The someone say amen. So one day I did, I did a good thing. And I didn't know that I left the, I left the cage open. And the girl said, tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> you see, that's freedom. We are free in death. We are free at last. Amen? Because of Jesus Christ's blood. Can someone say amen? So let, let's say, let the redeemed let the redeem. of the Lord say so. Lord I only hear this part. Let the redeemed the redeem. of the Lord say so. Lord because he had redeemed us from the hand of the enemy, which is Satan. And let's go to Psalm 103. Look at Psalm 103. What did he do on the cross? This is not what he did on the cross. You know, David is a man of God's heart. And this is his prophecy. What Jesus did at the cross, look at Psalm 103. Bless, 103 verse 2. Uh, bless the Lord. I, I don't let Deacon Spence to read it. Amen. If you're there, say amen. Psalm 103 verse 2 to 5 to 6. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 6. Hallelujah. Everyone say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Come on, church, say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You are blessed. Come to your neighbor. You are blessed.
Can someone say hallelujah? He said to him, forgive all your iniquities. Who heareth all thy diseases. Can someone say hallelujah? God is the God of possible things. No matter what the doctors say, you have a cancer, you have a diabetes, you have this kind of sickness that is incurable, you have to reject it because my God did it on the cross. He was put into a transgression. He was put for iniquity. The transgression of our peace was upon him. By his strength, we are healed. Can someone say amen? I say here 53 verse 5. From Peter, 52 verse 24. By his strength, we are healed. If you believe it, if all things are possible. You know when Jesus Christ walked on earth, he, he healed all manner of sickness and diseases. He did not give excuses. I will not heal you because you are sinning. He did say that. He healed all manner of sickness and diseases. That's what I say, amen. That's the part of redemption. It's a healing power. He forgives your iniquities, your sins. He healed all your diseases. Verse 4. Who redeemed thy life from destruction? Hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. He crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Her mercies as is new every morning. Her mercies is new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Verse 5. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things? Can someone say amen? amen? Good things mean something. You eat good. You're eating good, good things. Hallelujah. So that thy youth is renewed like eagles. He will give you wisdom to, to eat the right food. He will give you wisdom to say good words to your neighbor. Amen? That would make you healthy. And someone say amen. amen. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You're no longer oppressed. He look at the he look at the oppressed. The oppressed. He look at his eyes and go, he's on the oppressed. Amen. Amen. Yeah, his eyes are on the man. He's on the man. So you cannot you cannot you, whoever is oppressed. He has his apple of the eyes. Can someone say amen? Amen. So you see, this is the redemption that he did on the cross. He forgive all your iniquities. He he healed all your diseases. With all the stripes that he had on his back, by his stripes, you are here. You may not do something now, but you probably you're struggling right now. We have trials and tribulations. We will have trials and tribulations. That's what the Bible said. We will have, but we can overcome because we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Revelation is possible. He overcame by the blood of the Lamb. He brings the blood of the Lamb. Amen? He did not redeem us from, from any kind from any kind of material things or anything. It's just like, because I remember uh, my ex-boyfriend, he drove my car. <laughs> he has no license, right? He drove my car. <laughs> Here comes the accident. You know, th this was my stupidity, stupidity before. <laughs> you know, I was young. I was, this is my stupidity. He drove my car, and he has no license. Boom! Went to the <laughs> went to the tree or something. And now he's trying to leave. I said, I, 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 he hit another car too. He's trying to leave. He said, that I gotta go. The police are gonna get me. You're gonna get me. They're gonna put me to jail. I gotta go. I gotta go. I said, wait a minute. Can you please uh, accept that you're the driver? He told me. I said, what? What in the world is doing with this man? They're gonna give me all the tickets and they're going to arrest me? <laughs> so now we said that he has no license or anything. He comes to police of so who's driving. I took that I took that uh, fault. That's what Jesus did for you and me. He took the fault. He, 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 that's what he did. I took his fault. They give me a ticket and everything. And then um, they, they, they put me to prison. They're about to put me in jail, but I, I, I have money, so I pay it. 
take part. Yeah. That's what Jesus Christ did yeah. for you and me. Yeah. That's what he did. He forgave all your diseases. He forgave all your diseases. He, says, he did not say some. That's what I like about God. It says all. Yeah. Everything, it says all. Yeah. It says all. Look at Psalm 103. He redeemed thy life from destruction. Why are you still going to destruction when you have the redeemed you already? Just like Pastor was saying this before, you are dead indeed with sins. So why are you still let, letting the sins <laughs> revive? Amen? We are dead in sin. When, when, when you are dead in sins, that means he finished it. He defeated Satan 2,000 years ago. Can someone say amen? He defeated Satan. He, a whole time of Jesus is going to be tender mercies. Every now and then, every day, has a lot of it, it's a tender mercies. Can someone say amen? Look at us. Uh, let's go to Galatians 3. I got three verses. I'm done. Everyone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone say confess. I'm blessed. Come on, God. I'm blessed. Look at Romans 3. Uh, Galatians 3. Amen, amen. Galatians 3. Thank you, Lord. On uh, Galatians 3, it says here, if you just say amen, uh, uh, be successful. Read it. Galatians 3, verses. 13 to 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Did you get that church? Uh, uh, Galatians 3, verse 13 to 14 said that. I myself, he's not there. Christ had redeemed us, past tense, from the curse of the law. Can someone say amen? amen? He made a curse for us. He became a curse for us. Amen? amen. So what you have curse? Whatever curse you have, you don't believe in generational curse. Because he redeemed that already. Amen? amen? Any curse that you have, he has redeemed us already. Amen? amen. Curse from the curse, but being made a curse for us, it is written, curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree. Can someone say amen? He was hanging on the tree. So he took your curse so that you will not be cursed. So you will be blessed. He cursed you. The curse is the blessing. So you are now blessed. Everyone say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Okay, so we are now blessed. Uh, so that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Because Abraham, when you talk about Abraham, you are born again. Who wants to be born again? If you you need to be born again to get this blessing. If you're not born again, you're not gonna have this blessing. Because the blessing of Abraham will come to the Gentiles. It is coming from Father Abraham. You gotta be born again to get this blessing. You have to be born again. It is a man. Or you can have peace, or you can have anything to speak of God. You have to be born and spirit. spirit. And someone say amen. amen. See, hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at look at look at Hebrews 4, verse 16. I got two verses. Everyone say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hebrews 4, verse 16. Oh no, uh, we'll go for that later. Let's go to 2 Peter. This is my favorite verse. 2 Peter 1, verse 3 to 4. And Deacon Spence will read it. Yes, second Peter. Be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy um, has begotten. Can we start with verse 2? Verse 2. Grace. Elect according to the four. Second, second Peter 1, verse 2. Second Peter. Verse 2 to 4. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. Yeah. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Amen. From there for a minute. Grace and peace be multiplied. Who wants grace and peace be multiplied upon your life? Amen. Who wants grace and peace be multiplied upon your life? If you don't have peace, you don't know Jesus. Grace and peace be multiplied. A God is a God of multiplication and addition. Amen? Amen. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God of Jesus our Lord. We have to know what the Bible says.
rebellion. Amen? It's a marriage. According to his divine power, has given unto us all things. Everyone say all things. I'm not reading this, this to myself, but according to his divine power, has given us unto all, all things that pertain unto life. Everyone say life. life. I came to give you life and have it more abundantly. That's what he said. So he has given us all things that pertain unto life. What pertain unto life? Food, clothing, shelter, money, material things. Amen? These are pertain to life. He has given us all things. In, in, in other words, there is already provision. What he did at the cross is not only eternal salvation, but he gave us the provision. Because I was amen. He gave them provision already. He makes sure that they can eat. He created everything before they were created. Because I was amen. amen. Same thing at the cross. He did it, so he gave you the, he gave you the provision already. Amen? Given it unto us all things that pertain unto life. And godliness. It was a godliness. Godliness. You walk in godliness. Not on uh, the image of Satan. Not ungodly. Amen? Through the knowledge of him who has called us to, for glory and virtue. It was a virtue. Verse um, four, uh, because then. Whereby are given to us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these he might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through us. Can someone say amen? Amen. Whereby he, 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 he has given us exceeding, it was exceeding, exceeding. Great, great and precious promises. Precious promises. Who wants to have this? Yes. That this, he might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Can someone say amen? Yes. Amen. Look, look at this. Uh, we go to 1 Peter 2. Oh, no. Hallelujah. If you, as you can see, as you can see here, we are the inherit. We are the we we inherit something in the kingdom of God. That's what I say, amen. amen. Because we are the partakers, amen. Amen. And what's say hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, you you know there is what you call unclaimed inheritance. I don't know in your family if you have something unclaimed inheritance in your heritage. That there these are the properties or or something uh, treasure that you have not claimed from your great great grandfather, great great grandmother, it was not claimed, but it's still there. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? But same thing with Jesus Christ. He has given you all benefits. You yeah. say, how come you don't claim it? Amen. Amen. He said he has given us all, he has given us all benefits. Yes. What kind of all benefits in all areas of our life? Not only our eternal salvation. Can someone say amen? amen? How come you don't claim it? Because we don't know it. We are ignorant of the word of God. Hallelujah. I was ignorant of the word of God before too. I don't know it. I don't know it. I just I have a I have an example, like my mother and my father. They go on the plane, they're frequent flyer. They go back and forth, back and forth, business flight. They go back and forth, back and forth, Philippines, America, Philippines, America. And now they, they've been doing that for for five years. And they ne never eat in the plane. And then and, and they look at the people, they, they look at the people being served with dinner, good food. And they, they, they're not going there and saying, can I have a dinner? They don't say it to the stewardess. But they, they keep it crackers all the time to eat themselves. Just those crackers. And then finally, one of them, how I said, how come you eat good food? That's my father asked one of the passengers. What, what is your ticket? Business. You, that's already been paid! People are being destroyed by the lack of knowledge. It's already been paid, and they've been sacrificing themselves eating crackers so that they cannot pay that kind of money from the credit card, but it's already been paid. Amen. It's full. Amen. That's what will happen when we're ignorant. When we're ignorant, we don't get the benefits. We don't get the benefits. Amen. We're like, he has given us sitting great and precious promises. Great that you must be partakers by the, by the divine nature having escaped corruption that is in the world through lust. You see, church, we are, the, we are the adopted sons and daughters of the living God. Amen. The Son of God became Son of Man, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we'll say, I am, I am blessed. 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 Come on, church. I am blessed. I am blessed. Hallelujah. I, I got like one last verse. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we did Ephesians. Let's go to Hebrews 4, verse 16. Uh, Romans 3, 24. Romans 3, 24. Everyone say hallelujah. 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 Tell to, your, tell to your neighbor, claim the benefits. Come on, claim the benefits. After we claim those benefits, hallelujah. Ephesians 1, verses 3 to 8. Oh no, we did that. Romans, I mean, Romans. Yes, hallelujah. In Romans 3, I want to welcome uh, Mr. Miller. Romans chapter 3, verse 24. Uh, yes, sir. Romans 3. Being justified freely by his grace with the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are justified freely by. Come on, church. Romans 3, verse 24. We are justified freely by. His grace. Grace. We are justified freely by his grace. Amen. It's a grace, it's a merit, it's an unfaithful you work. You do not deserve it, but you are justified freely by His grace. I can't, read, uh, I, I can't even uh, look at Romans 3, verse uh, 24. I, I'll go back there, okay. Hallelujah. 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 This is justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Can someone say amen? Amen. Everyone say, I am redeemed. I am redeemed. I am, I am blessed. Come on, church. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Amen. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say, say so. so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through the redemption of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And we go to Hebrews 4, verse 16. I think this is my last verse. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look at Hebrews 4, verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So it is not will for you, uh, it is not the will of God for you to be like in bondage. That's not the will of God for you to be in bondage. In bondage of sin, in bondage of everything, in bondage of not, not being blessed. You don't, you don't see the blessing coming from. It is not the will of God for you in bondage to be, to be captive. Amen? Because he, he, over, he already defeated the enemy. Hebrews 4, verse 16, because then. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Uh, 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 let the congregation read it. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Come boldly is, don't be shy. Uh, uh, Hallelujah. Let me. Let me cite something. I hope you don't mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, it's $20, right? Okay. If I ask you to come over here, Let's see who got manners, who got ethics, whatever that is. Who wants to come over here? Who wants to come over here? Come over here. Okay, if you do the right thing, right. you'll get the blessing. Right. <laughs> okay, what do you do with this? What do you do with it? I'm not going to say nothing. I wait for you to get to me. I mean, I don't know if you can reply to what you can play. Yes, I'm saying I'm going to see what you give. Who else wants to come over here? You're going to see what's being offered. Who wants to come over here? Pastor Dean is coming. What do you do? 